Welcome once again to the Pacquiao Mayweather Quick Hits. A lot of people say that one variable common to these two fighters, but which separates them, is the guy called Juan Manuel Marquez. Let's break that down. Juan Manuel Marquez has fought Manny Pacquiao four times. And in those four fights, a lot of people said that Marquez exactly knew what to do against Manny Pacquiao. In fact, in the first three fights, all those fights were controversial. Then came fight number four. With a right straight, Manny Pacquiao was floored in the sixth round of that fateful fight. Let's move on the, to the other side and look at how Mayweather demolished one Manuel Marquez. Marquez came in as a smaller fighter, moving up in weight, trying to challenge uh, the dominance of Floyd Mayweather. A lot of people describe that fight as Mayweather schooling the Mexican warrior. Unanimous decision po ang katapusan ng laban na yun. Wala pong halos nagawa itong si Marquez against Mayweather. In fact, Mayweather even floored Marquez with one left hook and left him on the ground for a couple of seconds. Tumayo po si Marquez but still did not have the formula to be able to fight effectively against uh, Mayweather. So sabi nila, if Mayweather beat Juan Manuel Marquez the way he did and Juan Manuel Marquez beat Pacquiao the way he did, then it was smooth and academic that Mayweather will just beat Pacquiao easily, some people say. Now, one of the punches that will be very crucial in this upcoming fight is what we call the straight leads. For a left-handed fighter, it is the left straight lead, which is my power hand, or the right-handed fighter, which is the right straight lead. We were going to talk about this because this is a favorite punch of Mayweather and an effective punch for Manny Pacquiao, but more so, it is the same punch that uh, Pacquiao walked into when Marquez uh, knocked him out in the sixth round of that fateful day. So again, with Coach Lemuel, we will show this to you. So I will start off with me being uh, Manny Pacquiao uh, with the southpaw stance. And while Coach Lemuel even using the shoulder roll, so let's do it slowly. Step, I have the angle, and then I throw a straight left lead. If he defends against that with the shoulder roll, Right? I am already inside. I can always turn and follow that up with a one-two combination at an angle wherein he cannot, he cannot counter. So that's how a left-hand straight can open up combinations for Manny Pacquiao. Now let's do it the other way. I am now a right-handed fighter and this is how Mayweather will probably throw that, that right hand. Again, it's the same thing. It's the shoulder roll or the defensive stance of Mayweather. So if Manny jabs, he, he, he reads the punch, and he throws the right hand together with the jab. All he needs to do is move out and then throw the right again. With the reach and height advantage, that right hand becomes a very important weapon. Oh! And that's another knockdown! Let's talk about how Marquez did it. So that's why this punch is very important. What happened then was, Manny faked twice, faked, faked, and then because he faked, the reaction of um, Marquez was to throw his right hand as Manny was coming in while Manny wasn't throwing any punch. So again, fake, 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 then he threw the punch. So Manny wasn't defending, there was no jab, there was no straight, and he walked right into that right straight lead. So it was a short, crisp right hand punch that hit the face of the incoming Manny Pacquiao. So that lead right, that lead right for Mayweather, and that left for Pacquiao are very important punches to watch out for. So if you're still interested to, uh, to know and break down the fight, just join us in the Pacquiao Mayweather Quick Hits. And I'll see you on May 3rd here on Solar Sports for Battle for Greatness.